Okay, so I know you know how to use a ruler, but I want to talk a little bit about how we determine the accuracy of the ruler we're using, which has a lot to do with what we'll quote our measurement as. So I have just this sample ruler on my screen so that I can record it for you. And I'm going to use this little box and try to measure its length. Now, depending on the type of ruler you have, you're going to want to look at what kind of divisions there are on the metric side. In this particular case, it's telling me it's centimeters, and it's giving me these numbers saying one, two, three centimeters. So if I were to put this exactly right there, I'd say it's sort of 3.0 centimeters. Usually on these rulers, right, it doesn't tell me what the smallest increment is, so I have to kind of figure that out. So on the centimeter side here, I see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten divisions, right? So each of these little divisions must represent one millimeter or a tenth of a centimeter. So here's where I'll just try to measure this box. Let me just put it kind of right there. Um, oh, let me make it a little trickier. I'll put it right there. So I want to measure the length of this box. And so the way I would do that, right, I'm lining up one side. Clearly this is about one and a half centimeters, roughly. But I want to measure a little more carefully than that. So I'm going to go, I, I could either count each of these millimeter marks, right? So it's 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6. And this is where we get in trouble, right? Because it's really somewhere between 1.6 and 1.7 centimeters. And now here's where the rules are kind of different depending on who you ask. Some people will say um, you can estimate to the nearest half of your smallest tick mark. So what we'll say for our course, all the way across, whenever we're taking measurements, if there is a smallest increment, like there is here, a millimeter, I can tell it's halfway between or it's, it's in between at the very least. So you are allowed to estimate to the nearest half of that. So in this case, we would say that our measured value is 1.65 centimeters. Some people might say, hey, look, you know, I can tell it's a little bit closer to the 6 than the 7, so maybe I should actually call it 1.63. Right? Well, there is some freedom to, to estimate that last digit of precision. Okay, but you should definitely include a digit there um, because you can estimate. Now, if we're ever we're using a digital measuring tool, if it were to just tell us it's 1.65, then you can't estimate, right? You can only estimate when you can see whether it's in between uh, that smallest increment. So in all the measurements you do for this lab, you should, depending on the ruler you have, always estimate the last digit of precision that is sort of smaller than your smallest increment. I know it's confusing, um, but hopefully that makes some sense.